All right, so today we're going to be learning about switch statements, and uh, they're really easy, so I'm going to get right to it. This is basically uh, the improved quadratic equation program. I'm just going to completely get rid of it, and we're going to start from uh, scratch here. And um, what, we're, what program we're going to be making today is a, I guess like a menu program or well we'll see we'll see so let me define a few variables um, int well let's make it chars char selection um, and we'll just set it equal to a right now uh, don't forget chars need to be sound surrounded by single quotes or apostrophes um, what error is this and used. Oh, that's fine. We'll use it eventually. Okay, um, so switch statements. Well, first, let's do a, let's do instructions. Okay, enter. Let's give the user some choices. So pick a choice. Okay, and L. And then actually. We'll see out. We'll do. What are the choices? Oh, colors. How about green? Oh, pick your favorite color. That's good. That's a good thing. Green. Um, I'm just gonna do like I'm gonna do it all in one line. Green, yellow, go uh, blue, go violet. So what this does is says pick a color and then this is the this series of options given the colors you choose. Um, actually, since we're reading in a character, we need to tell the user to only put in a character. So let's just give it like values. Oops. All right, V for violet. R for red and O for orange. Okay. So switch statements. This is where we implement a switch statement. All you do is SWYTH switch. And I love Xcode because it gives you help. So switch and then in parentheses an expression. This is the expression. Well, actually, before we do this, we have to read in the selection, right? So C in whatever that is and put it into selection. There, all right. So when the when the program says pick your favorite color and gives the options, it'll then uh, read an input from the user and store that input, which should be one single character or letter into selection. The switch statement is going to evaluate selection. Okay, it's just going to see what it does. And of course, like if statements, we're going to surround this. Uh, in curly braces. Ooh, how far? Okay. Um, oh, with switch statements, you need to type case first, and then whatever value selection could be. In this case, selection could be G, Y, B, I, V, R, or O. So, uh, and because they're characters, we have to surround it with apostrophes or single quotes. In case G, if selection is equal to the character G, you do colon. Colon basically says do this. Um, then just output C out your fave color is green. Well, actually, we can make this a lot easier. Your fave, well, let's make it personalized. Green is my fave color too. There. Okay, and um, if there, if we chose green, we want to immediately get out of the switch. It's not a loop, but the switch block. So we're gonna have type break. Now get rid of that. Now what if the case was yellow? Why? Then you just see out uh, something else. Yellow school. Dot dot dot. Whatever. 
and then break that case. I'm going to try to do this as quick as I can because I don't like these videos to be too long. Feel this nasty. <laughs> break case I. Um, oops. My friend's girlfriend name is Indigo. Uh, actually, that's true. I have a friend whose girlfriend's name is Indigo. Interesting, uh, interesting couple. Sout, <laughs> cout. Um, yuck. No, I don't really like Violet. Okay. Uh, case R and O. So R reds. Reds all right. Break. And then case O. See out. Orange. Organ. <laughs> Orange is the color of my true love's hair. Actually, I'm not sure how if that's no. It's black is the color of my true love's hair. Okay, so we have a switch statement, and you might be wondering why the heck am I adding break at the end of all of these? If I don't add break, this is how the switch statement works. If I don't add break, like if this was commented out, it would it would compare selection to the first case. If it's G, then it then it does case G. It C outs uh, green is my fave color too. But without a break it'll continue down the line and it'll also C out yellow's cool until it hits a break. So we need a break here so that it knows to only implement this case and then stop. Otherwise without the break it'll start here and just keep going until it hits another break. That's how the switch statement works. If this was false, if that's not what the selection was, if that's not what the selection was, if that not is not what the selection was, if it was I, then it would start here, and it would con continue to go down until it hit a break. Mm, really, you should have breaks on new lines. However, it is typical and common for programmers to put break on the same line of a switch case so I think that's uh, something you should do too. So I'm going to run this program and just see if it works. Uh, compiling, linking, succeeded. OK. OK, pick your favorite color. I'm going to say green. Green's my favorite color too. Awesome. All right, so that's the switch statement. I'm going to end it right here because I don't want it to be too long. So we're going to work with switch statements more later.